When I have a client in front of me that's facing federal charges, they've never been in trouble, the maximum is 10 years, why is it that the sentencing guidelines are placing them so high either at or above that maximum? And the answer is in the question, because of the federal sentencing guidelines. If you have no criminal history, you're in a good place to start with. But every child pornography case involves a computer, and the use of a computer to commit a crime under federal law is an enhancement. If you have more than 600 images, that's a major enhancement for that baseline sentence. Every video is considered to be 75 images. So essentially, if you have eight videos or more, you've already hit the maximum. You've gone over that 600 image limit. And then depending on how many total images, uh, whether or not there are victims involved, there are so many different enhancements for a federal child pornography case that put these sentences above the maximum. So the maximum is 10 years, yet you could be looking at a guideline range that is suggesting above the max. So you really can't go above the maximum, but with all the enhancements, it actually puts you above the max. Why is it so serious in federal court? It's because of the sentencing guidelines. And that's what we have to use with the court in determining your situation.